very good morning dear students today we are concluding this chapter sets with these concepts uh, let us see today venn diagram and some operations on sets namely union and intersection let us see the concepts in detail venn diagram yes the name indicates it is about some diagram now which type of diagram let us see it is a diagrammatic representation of sets in which the universal set means the super set of everything the universal set is represented by a rectangle and all the other sets in consideration using closed geometrical figures you can use any closed geometrical figures starts right starts right from triangle any polygon but mainly in venn diagram we use circles or ellipses so a diagrammatic way of representing sets is known as venn diagram this method is invented by the english mathematician john venn john venn that's why this method is named after him as venn diagram let us see so here is a venn diagram of you can see a big rectangle which represents the universal set here the universal set represents the numbers from minus 1 to 9 you can see 10 digit minus 1 to 9 okay now what the biggest set out of them represents integers from minus 1 to 9 it is the most outer set okay so the re diagrammatic representation of uh, the bigger set minus 1 to 9 you can see every digit right from minus 1 to 9 inside this set now what the uh, next set represents this represents positive integers less than 10 positive integers less than 10 you can see that in that minus 1 and 0 are excluded let us go inside again here it is even integers from 2 to 9 right 2 4 6 8 again this one represents odd integers from 1 to 9 1 3 5 7 9 one more set represents they are the primes less than 10 so instead of writing a equal to b equal in roster form or set builder form this is a diagrammatic pictorial representation of sets known as venn diagrams you can see that 2 is common in uh, If in uh, most of all sets except one or or number of okay but uh, 3 5 7 again uh, it left out so in this way we can easily here one one more thing i can say that uh, see this prime less than 10 prime less than 10 is a subset of the main set because it completely lies inside the big set so the concept of subsets can also be described using venn diagram here is one more example here is a universal set of all natural numbers from 1 to 10 1 2 3 4 up to 10 and a represents all the even integers then you can see universal set 1 3 5 7 9 left out and inside a even integers are represented so here very clearly a is a subset of the bigger set or u is the universal set or power i mean the super set of a one more example here the same example here we consider two sets universal set rightly again from 1 to 10 all the integers from 1 to 10 a is the set of all even integers 2 4 6 8 10 10 and b is the set 4 6 only okay b is the set 4 6 only very clearly you can see that b is the subset of a and u both b is the subset of both a and u a is the subset of u only right now a proper subsets or superset s is a subset of t s is a proper subset of t means that f s is a subset of t but s not equal to t so here inside the universal set s and t are given s is a subset of t so s lies completely inside of t because t is the superset here so in such a way we can represent the sets using venn diagram union of sets the one of the main operations of sets is union of sets consider two sets capital a and capital b then by union of sets what we mean by the concept union of sets by union of sets a and b see the how we represent denoted by a union b a u b like that a union b and is defined as it is the set of all elements either in a or in b or in both okay union of set means it is the collection of all elements in both the sets in a and in b or in it 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 as an element may lie both in a and b so we define union of sets as set of all elements 
connecting collecting a and b a in a in b or in both for example we see let us consider the set a equal to set 1 2 3 b equal to set 3 5 7 you can see that three lies in both the sets then we define a union b as a union b equal to set 1 2 Three repeats. So in sets, you know, an element should not be repeated. One, two, three, five, seven. So in this way, we can easily write the union of sets. Now, how can we represent union of sets using Venn diagram? Here is the method. So here A and B are shown. A, B are shown. Then there may be like three. There may be some common elements. Then the whole shaded part, the whole shaded region represents union of A and B. intersection of sets intersection of sets next uh, operation sorts consider two sets a and b then by intersection of sets a and b denoted by a intersection b c a union b direct inverted u is using in intersection a inverted u b read as a intersection b it is defined as the set of all elements which are common which are common in both a and b which are common in both a and b for example if a equal to set 1 2 3 4 5 b equal to set 3 5 7 9 then a intersection b see a intersection b by intersection we mean common elements therefore this is the set what are the common elements in a and b you can see there 3 is common 5 also is common therefore a intersection b represents the set 3 5 how we can represent it through venn diagram like this yes here a is a set b is another set you can see the common part common part uh, in uh, laid by both a and b and that represents intersection of a and b so the main two operations are union and intersection of sets disjoint sets the name very much implies disjoint no joint there should be no joint between the sets consider two sets a and b then they are called disjoint sets if they don't have a common element if though they don't have a common element means though they don't have an intersection that means a intersection b is nothing that means five null set therefore if a intersection b is a null set we can say the two sets are disjoint here is the venn diagram for disjoint sets universal set a and b are not at all connected so here we can easily represents the uh, disjoint sets a and b